Hi, everybody. I'm Alice K. Ruckelhaus from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Ruckelhaus. And I just want to talk real quickly about anxiety disorders, because you've heard me mention that anxiety is a sin. And so I want to qualify that and add a little disclaimer. Um, is our anxiety disorders a sin? Here's my short answer. I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I did some research on this to find out what different Christian leaders say about it. And some of them say, no, it's not a sin, it's a disorder. And other people say it's a disorder, but it's also a sin. And, and let me tell you that every one of those articles that I read were very compassionate. None of them were condemning. And that's, oh, that's my alarm going off telling me it's time to stop recording. <laughs> Sorry, I have to teach classes in a few minutes. So this will be short. Um, but they were all compassionate and understanding about that, but still saying it's sin. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know. And I think that's something that you need to ask the Holy Spirit to help you know whether or not your anxiety disorder is a sin or has sin as the root of it. Um, and maybe talk to your pastor. I shouldn't say maybe. Definitely talk to your pastor for some help with that. Um, I would say that one thing to do that might help you figure that out, I mean, there might be a disorder, but there might also be sin, um, is to pray about whether sin is the root of it, pray about whether sin is the fruit of it. Um, it may be a disorder, but there's sin coming out of that, or it may be a disorder, but the root of it was sin, or it may just be a disorder, okay? Um, I, I don't know. And, but I also want to make it clear that just because I'm saying, I don't know, that doesn't mean it's not a sin. That means I don't know. <laughs> so you need to talk to the Lord, talk to your pastor about it and everything. Now, do I think I'm doing a series on anxiety right now. Do I think that the things that I'm suggesting would help somebody with a disorder? Yeah. I do. It might not help everybody, but it's definitely worth trying. And it might help relieve at least some of your anxiety. And then you might need to get help from a psychologist. Um, maybe you'll need some herbs or medicine or something to help with it. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm not a professional. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a counselor or anything like that. So, you know, I can't tell you what to do, but that would be some possibilities. I definitely think that the things that I'm suggesting to you wouldn't hurt. Um, and they'll help you in other areas of your life as well. So I just wanted to say that I wanted to specifically deal with this because you have heard me say that anxiety is sin. And I am going to be doing a couple videos where I specifically talk about dealing with anxiety as sin. And so I want to make sure, first of all, that you understand that disclaimer that I'm not necessarily talking about anxiety disorders because I don't know. Um, but the other thing is that I want you especially to know that when I say anxiety is sin, even if that does pertain to you with a, an anxiety disorder, if you pray about it and talk to your pastor and you figure, yes, this is a sin, or if you don't, don't feel defensive about it because I'm not condemning you. Um, and like I said, I'm not saying it's necessarily sin. I don't know if you have an anxiety disorder. I honestly don't know if that's a sin or not, but even if it is, there is no condemnation in that. That's really, really important to know because if you sense that there's condemnation from me or from somebody else or from God, you're gonna dig in your heels and not deal with that sin, okay? Let me tell you, first of all, I am the queen of anxiety. I, oh my word, I know how to worry. <laughs> I'm good at it. I might be one of the best at worrying, okay? So no condemnation, total understanding, but it's really, really important for you to know that there's no condemnation because I just want to help you. Because if it is sin in your life, it causes a disruption in your relationship with God. You might still be able to have a relationship with God, but it's not as good as it would be if that sin wasn't there, if, it's, if it is indeed sin in your life. And so recognizing sin is the first step in dealing with sin. We can't deal with sin if we don't recognize that it's sin. So if you have a disorder, again, I'm not saying that it's sin. I'm saying I don't know. But I do recommend that you pray about it, that you ask the Holy Spirit to help you to see, and you ask your pastor to help you to figure out if it is sin or if there is some sin involved. Okay, and then if there is, let's take care of it. <laughs>
Okay. If there's not, then still try some of these things that I'm saying, and especially try them in other areas of your life. Because I'm just using anxiety as an example, because that's a problem that a lot of us have these days. All right. If you have any questions below, or if you still feel condemnation or something, I, I want to hear that because I want to be able to help you through that. It's really, really important to me. Um, I think that anxiety is just one of the one of the most common things that we're dealing with these days, with the pandemic, with being isolated, with jobs um, or not jobs. I, I'm very likely to lose my job here in a couple of weeks. Um, and it's really interesting because I have no anxiety about that. But that's not because I'm a better person than you. It's because God has really, really been working on this with me for the last couple of years. And so um, he's just given me peace and he's given me trust in him. So anyway, yeah, if you would like me to pray for you, you can ask me in the comments below or you can contact me privately through my website. If you feel okay about sharing publicly, then I would appreciate it if you do it in the comments because that can help other people because other people have the same situation you do, even though you think you're the only person with that situation. Believe me, there are other people. And so it can help them. But if you want to keep it private, just go to my website. You'll see a link to my website below where it tells about my books. And um, on every page of my website, it has a button at the bottom that says, contact a link at the bottom that says contact you can click on that that'll get you my email so that you can write to me privately okay i love you all i will talk to you later bye bye